special voice to bring such a sensible, clear-headed, and beloved character such as Belle to life. And you're ahead of me, I know, but yes, Paige O'Hara's star turned the role as a speaking and singing voice for the bright and beautiful heroine in Disney's 30th animated feature that was on endless loop when my daughters were young, beauty and the beast, and we never minded that. It secured a place for her among a small group of Disney leading ladies. Paige's Broadway career began in 1983 when she landed the role of Ellie Mae Chipley in the revival of the musical theater classic Showboat. And though she went on to play Ellie Mae Chipley in several other productions of Showboat, one for the Cairo Opera House in Egypt, it was an entirely different role that proved to be a match made in heaven, or at least in the hands of Disney animators. It's worth noting that in 1991, Beauty and the Beast became the first film ever to earn a nomination, the first animated film to win a nomination uh, for Best Picture. It won an Academy Award for Best Score, which was composed by Disney legends Alan Menken and Howard Ashman, and the title song, and the title song Beauty and the Beast won the Academy Award for Best Song. Paige continues to be the heart and soul of Belle by voicing the admired and self-educated princess in her directed video sequels such as Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, and Belle's Magical World. <coughs> being a Disney princess might seem like a glamorous job, but I know Paige and the other Disney princesses being honored today can attest to the fact they are some of the hardest working voice talent in the industry. But at the end of the day, Paige says playing Belle has been a dream come true. Paige, as the voice of Belle, can be heard in toys and interactive books, on internet games, video games, sing-along CDs, in Disney theme parks, and I'm hoping she'll do a ringtone for me. Might as well multitask. You'll also want to catch her fun cameo as the spicy soap star Angela in Disney's hit feature film fantasy, Enchanted. Today, we thank you, Paige, for bringing Belle to life in a way that has inspired many others to dream of adventure beyond the boundaries of their own provincial life and to believe that even the heart of a beast can change. Paige, please join me to accept your Disney Legend Award. for being here tonight. That means everything to me. And, and thank my mom, who's in heaven, who used to sing and dance around the living room with me when we sing to Judy Garland and Julie Andrews. <laughs> she inspired me and let me watch Mary Poppins over a hundred times. <laughs> I'm not much of a writer, so uh, that's why I became an actress. <laughs> so they could give me words to say. And I called on my husband, Michael, to help me jot down a few of my thoughts I'd be nervous and excited. And I think it's important that I make it very clear that I am just a very small part of the family that made Belle who she is. There are so many people who made all of this possible. The vision of Don Hahn, the music and lyrics of Alan Menken and Howard Ashman. The book of Linda Wolverton. Our directors, Kirk Wise and Gary Trusdale and Bell's animators, Mark Henn and James Baxter. <laughs> and of course, he couldn't be here tonight, but I talked to him this week. My dear leading man, my heart, Robbie Benson. <laughs> I also want to thank all of the people that work so tirelessly behind the scenes, like Howard Green, and all these years, Disney character voices. Thank you. You know, I have to be honest, there's one thing that I really don't like about Belle. She never gets older. <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird this old girl can show up at a Disney event, and all I have to do is say a few lines of Belle's and a couple of notes, and all of a sudden I have all these children around me, and they're saying, Belle, did you bring your ball gown? Where's the beast? Now that's Disney magic. <laughs> Most of all, I'm living my script with this. Most of all, it's all about the fans. You know, without you, none of this 
would happen, <laughs> none of us would be here. I want to thank you for all your love and support over all these good years, and you know I've had a few tough ones too with losing some family. And your letters and your email have meant so much to me. Thank you to all of you. Thank you to Walt Disney. I love you all. God bless. <laughs>